Make sure that this gets you nice and thin. Yeah, okay. Oh, okay. That'd be great. Look at that. The audience gets to see you collaborating right now, which is what AGU is all about. Oh, yeah. um, hello, we are at the American Geophysical Annual Fall Meeting 2018, the final day, the final hours. <laughs> yeah. How many AGUs have you been to? Uh, about six or seven. Not, I usually go to the Geological Society of America. That's my more yearly conference, but, <laughs> but I like AGU. It's, yeah, it's, 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 it's a great it's place. Got, it's got a good vibe. It's got a lot going. You were talking about something this afternoon, part of a whole two-part session about, and I can't pronounce the name of the creator that impacts The Chikshalub. Chikshalub. It's, it's not an easy word. I will, I'll probably mess it's it up. It's a Mayan word, and so it's the, the X is a Z. Chikshalub. Most people don't pronounce it correctly. I'm, I'm, <laughs> I'm butchering it for sure. Yeah. But it's a fascinating findings and all sorts mm -hmm. of stuff. Um, what I, the thing that I know for sure is a huge chunk of rock hit our planet in that yes. area, and it had devastating effects mm -hmm. on our planet. I heard the, the speaker right before you said the tsunami went on for over a week. Well, the, yeah, I know the, you're not the, a tsunami the, yeah, person. Yeah, the but. initial tsunami probably did reverberate for quite a while, but the other thing is that you had multiple events after that. You had earthquakes probably on the order of magnitude 10 happening, so multiple earthquakes probably went on and that would cause more tsunamis, and then <laughs> you had platform margin collapse around the entire Gulf of Mexico, places where the, the shaking just caused the seafloor to collapse, and, and that also causes tsunamis to happen. And so you had this energy reverberating through that Gulf of Mexico over and over again, and that's why we had this repetitive pattern that I was talking about. The impact ran the rang the planet like a bell, I yeah, think I yeah. read at some that's point. That's a very that's, good way of putting it. That's a sh what part of the research are you doing? I know there's lots of teams working on lots of little things. I, I mainly work on the sedimentary rocks that are above the impact-related things, although this stuff that I was talking about today was sort of the last of the impact-related rocks. Um, but I'm most interested in the, the extinction event and the recovery of life and, and the sedimentation that happened after that that filled in the crater and just understanding the the whole history of that. You just brochure over the extinction event. That was the dinosaurs. Exactly. <laughs> <laughs> and well, I, dinosaurs as well as a lot of other things. A lot of marine critters went extinct. and um, So yeah, it was a devastating event. For, the, for our, whole, our whole planet. Yes. Um, so did it fill in with dirt after? So you're able to measure time? Not dirt, time it filled in with, with limestone. And so it's, it's actual marine sediments that are filling in the crater. And that's, that's my specialty. That's why I got onto the project to begin with was I study limestones and how they're deposited and what they can tell us about changes in the ocean and changes in the climate and things like that, sea level change, those sorts of things. And so that's sort of my specialty. So I'm looking at all of these deposits that are basically piling up on top of what was the crater and you know basically covered it up, which kept it hidden for quite a, a long time. It took a while for people to figure out where it was because it's totally covered up by this limestone. Which is your stuff, and yeah, that's why exactly. they're like, is, is, are we seeing through it in the right way? Are we seeing what we think we're seeing? Yeah, yeah. Did you take a core sample to get the date from the bottom? Like, did they send one to you? Oh, I worked on the actual core. Um, a, this last expedition was one where they could not use the drill ship, which they usually, which uh, the International Ocean Discovery Program usually has on site because it was too shallow. So they had to use this special thing called a lift boat, which sails out there and lifts itself up on these three pylons. And the, the ship usually has a whole suite of labs on it where they do all of these initial analyses right on the ship. Because they couldn't take the ship, they didn't have all those labs. Uh -huh. So they had to ship all of this stuff to a lab in Germany that has all of the lab equipment that the ship has. And so I went on that part of the expedition to work on the rocks in the lab. So we were the first ones to see the core as it came out and was cut open. and. We how, documented everything. How old was this limestone that you're the first human to see? Well, that's only, you know, the base of it is 66 million years old, and then it gets younger than that. That is, a, what's it like, just, well, as a, just as a human, to hold something that old? Well, I work on much older things than that <laughs> in, in general. I work, I work a lot in the Paleozoic, so things that are 400, 300 million years old. So is 66 it, is a, it's a baby. <laughs> is it weird to, but, to touch our planet, that, that part of our planet that's so old? Oh, no. Well, that's, that's what we all do here. <laughs> As a geologist, not all of us. <laughs> geologists. So just, just every day you know, and sort but, of stuff. Um, it was very exciting when the, the actual boundary box, you know, they, when they start cutting the cores, um, they started at the bottom and you know, cutting it, cutting, cutting. And so we're, you know, we know when the, the boxes are going to come out, at, at least within a day or so. And so when we knew the boundary boxes were going to come out, we all stayed on after hours just to 
to make sure we could get a look at it before anybody else did. <laughs> it's like seeing it's very a, exciting. Yeah, a big movie before it comes out. Like this, you're the first people yeah, to right, see it. You get the first data, the first samples. Right. Why Alaska? Is that where you live? Did you grow up there? Or is just where? You no, I've been working there for 22 years. Uh, there was a job that came open, and I applied for it, and <laughs> was, was happy to get it. Um, but uh, we hired this other guy who was an impact expert, and they were drilling this core back in 2001. That's how I got involved. Well, I think it's amazing. I'm so impressed at AGU with the level of science and scientists that are working at the university oh, and yeah. that you were brought into the team says a lot about your expertise and your skill. Uh, and, I was also at the right place at the right time. Well, <laughs> <laughs> well, that's also, that's not an accident. Exactly. That's well. not an accident. Um, how much more is there to learn about our planet? Have we learned everything there is to learn? Of course not. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, we're, we're learning so much on this project alone, it's, it's been the, the most amazing interaction. And you just get so many different views, of, you know, different scientists that have different specialties and they all contribute something different to the, the you know, the, the end product. And I've learned more f about so many different things <laughs> having to do with impact processes and all of these weird rocks that are formed in that kind of process. I ne had never looked at any of that kind of stuff before this project, so. How exciting to, at this point in your career, to learn new things and to meet new people and to develop right. new skills. Yeah, exactly. What would you say to uh, a young kid who, or a young person or anyone who's like, dinosaurs are cool, I want to learn where they all went? Um, lots of ways to get into that, <laughs> I mean, but you'd have to be, become a paleontologist or a geologist to really start answering some of those questions. Um, you know, find a good school that has somebody that works on that kind of stuff and, and go for it. <laughs> you mentioned, that we were talking a little bit before, that this is one of the most exciting projects that you've been a part of. Mm -hmm. um, are there times when you're just like, I, I pinch myself, I can't believe oh, yeah. that. Yeah, that's been, this is that been kind of unbelievable at times. <laughs> <laughs> and I saw someone was here in the audience that you've never met, but you've worked with yeah. before? Yeah, um, I, I, see, I need to talk to her. <laughs> okay, <laughs> I'll let you go in no, just no, a minute. No, no, I didn't see where she went. So. Uh, she, I'm sure she'll be back for yeah, the next yeah, session. Yeah, was going to start here pretty shortly. Um, Talk to me, just the last little thing I want to uh, ask about is one of the most important things about AGU is, is collaboration. Mm -hmm. It can be really simple when it's working yeah. and it can be very difficult when it's not. How do you navigate that? I've had, I've, I guess maybe I've been very lucky because I haven't had any bad collaborations. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, I've worked with some difficult people in various projects and you just have to you know, know that everybody's different and everybody's got their own quirks and try to not rub people the wrong way too often. And <laughs> is it hard to stay in your lane? Like if you hear uh, another, of someone in another field saying something, you have an idea, uh, is, your, is your idea welcome to say something out loud if you're working together? Or is it more like, well, I've just got to... No, no, in this group especially, it, everybody has been very uh, cooperative and collaborative and it's been, you know, it's been really good. Do you miss dinosaurs? Well, I never saw a live one. <laughs> <laughs> I've seen them but in the they're movies. Very cool. they're pretty cool. <laughs> thank you so much for yeah. taking a few minutes All to right. talk to me. Um, your, your work is uh, really exciting to hear about, so thank you very All much. Right. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>